Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I am back with another DIY today. Today it is all about why I always use Danish oil to restore old dry wood. There are 12 big reasons I love Danish oil. I also use it on new furniture projects. Let's get into the reasons why I think you should use it too. So the number one reason why I love Danish oil is because it is so easy to use. I've got this old dried out growth chart that I've been using for the last 10 years for my boys. Since I knew this growth chart never had a top coat, all I had to do was give it a quick scuff sanding with 150 grit sandpaper, and then I just poured on the Danish oil and wiped it across the entire surface. If you want to restore the finish on an old piece of furniture, you do need to remove the top coat first. So Danish oil actually recommends that you sand from 120 grit to 150, 180, and then 220 to make sure that the wood is prepped in time. If you have old paint or an old top coat on, you might even want to strip that first, but for something that has never had a top coat on it, if it just had stain or an oil previously, like this growth chart here, you can scuff sand it and go straight to restoring that old wood with the Danish oil. Now, pour on a liberal coat of that Danish oil and then let it sit for 15 minutes before you wipe it away. But again, like I said, that's just the first reason why I love Danish oil, because it's so easy to use. But I have 11 more. And number two is it hardens in the wood. So Danish oil is made up of penetrating oils. Typically, it's linseed and tongue oils that you will find in Danish oil. And it also has varnish built into it and a little bit of mineral spirits. Those penetrating oils actually seep into the pores, the cells of your wood, and strengthen it. They harden in the wood. And the varnish adds a layer of protection to it. So it hardens to the wood, it strengthens your wood, and protects it from surface scratches, little bits of dings, and stuff like that. The third reason why I love Danish oil is because of the smooth finish that you get. Even after just one coat, I've got a buttery, soft, smooth finish on this growth chart. Of course, if you need to rehydrate dried wood, you can go for two or three coats of Danish oil. Just follow the same steps that it has on the bottle for leaving it for 15 minutes before wiping away the excess. All right, the next two reasons why I love using Danish oil is that it has a great subtle sheen. So I would describe it as somewhere between a matte sheen and a satin sheen. So it's a nice subtle sheen. It won't overpower your woodworking projects. It also has flexibility to the finish. So it doesn't crack, peel, or chip. It won't dry out, won't chip off or flake off on you. So another two more great reasons why I love using Danish oil. So Danish oil is a generic term for something that's made by many companies. I typically use Watco because that's what I usually find in the stores. Watco has eight great stain colors available. So another thing that I like is the range of colors available. They all look really natural and beautiful. There's also a natural version of it. So it's basically a clear version of the Danish oil. What you see me using here is the black walnut Danish oil. What you see me doing here is using the Danish oil as a primer under a layered paint look that I was creating. So I love using Danish oil as a primer because it's so fast and easy to apply. So it's much faster than any water-based primers that I would use under paint. But also it creates a great background for layered paint looks. So after layering on all of those paints on top of that dark walnut Danish oil stain finish, I was able to sand off the edges and reveal that beautiful dark walnut stain finish. So just another trick, another way to have a beautiful stain primer underneath paint projects. Two more reasons why I love Danish oil on woodworking projects is that it doesn't leave any brush marks. Since it's a wipe on, wipe off product, you don't have any brush marks left behind. Like I usually get with water-based um, primers, they're so thick, they seem to always leave brush marks behind, at least when I do it. So the Danish oil, again, quick and easy, you can get it into the, the grooves of furniture projects really easily, unlike with a paintbrush, and it doesn't leave brush marks behind. The other reason is it's low vox. So most of your water-based paints are going to be low vox too, but Danish oil is also low vox. That means you're not going to have any harmful vapors that you're breathing in when you're using Danish oil. Another thing that I love about Danish oil is that it never looks blotchy for me. So when I first started doing woodworking projects, I would use cheaper pine from Home Depot or Lowe's. I wasn't sanding it properly. And every time I would apply a wood stain, it would always have blotchy spots all over it. But with Danish oil, even on cheaper pine, it tends to penetrate evenly. I don't get a blotchy look with it. So I love it. It's just so much easier for beginner woodworkers to use this Danish oil instead of a water-based stain. 
Okay, so we're down to the last two of the 12 reasons that I love using Danish oil, but they're still biggies, guys. First up is that Danish oil is food safe and non-toxic. That means if you want to use it on a cutting board, butcher block countertops, or this little kitchen that I was building for my kids a few years ago, Danish oil is safe enough for those projects. It's even safe enough for applying to kids wooden toys that you've made, um, wooden stirring spoons, wooden salad bowls. Danish oil is food safe and non-toxic, like I said, so I love that. And the last reason that I love to use Danish oil on new woodworking projects or to restore old dry wood is because it is waterproof. If, if it's not obvious from this video already, the oil's hardened inside the wood and there's a layer of varnish that protects the top. So it is waterproof for those kitchen projects, for tabletops, for anything you wanna use it for around the house. Danish oil is my number one recommended go-to. I always have a few quarts of it in my garage. Okay, that's it for my 12 reasons to use Danish oil on woodworking projects. As always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help when I can. Thanks.